If you've done art or written for any meaningful amount of time, you may have noticed that some people tend to improve at different rates. We often reduce this to talent or having more time to devote to our art. However, this is not always the case. Sometimes, as artists, we have an abundance of time to make progress and an abundance of talent to improve. And yet even then we seemingly continue to plateau even though we might consistently practice. Although to be fair and honest to ourselves, many of us are not even doing that much to make progress. And yes, we can admit that maybe we just don't wish to improve or make progress as artists. Perhaps we are happy with our current skill level and do not seek to put ourselves through grueling practice sessions and thoughtful studies. But you know what doesn't take a lot of effort or grueling practice? Scrolling down and clicking that subscribe button for more videos like this one. Obligatory YouTube shilling aside, I don't think it's always necessary to be improving at art. Sometimes we only seek to maintain what we have, and that's perfectly fine. After all, there are other things in life besides art which may require our effort, time, and attention. However, I also think there are a lot of people who handicap themselves with that sentiment and make it their overarching excuse for not improving. As artists, we are afraid to try our best sometimes and improve because nothing hurts worse than failing at something we've put all of our effort and talent into. And yet, for those who clicked on this video wondering why you're hurting your progress as an artist, wondering if I had some secret revelation to bestow or silver bullet for getting better at art, I think you'll be disappointed. Now, don't click off the video just yet, we're only halfway through this. After all, I'm just as much of a student as the rest of you in the end. The advice I would give you is, and may always be, something you've heard before. However, I think I can put those lessons into different words and get you to look at those lessons from another angle you previously haven't. The secret to why you're hurting your progress as an artist is very simple. You're in your own way. Whether that's because you lack the energy, time, or direction to improve, or you simply do not care to improve, is irrelevant. What stops you from becoming better as an artist is not because someone has responded negatively to your art or because no one cares what you make, it's because you've allowed yourself to be brought down by those things. You've allowed yourself to stop either to protect yourself from failure or to make time for caring about other things in your life. I think it's important to recognize why we stop progressing, to reflect on our reasoning for why. Because if we're able to look at ourselves objectively and understand our reasons for doing things, sometimes we can come to understand how silly those reasons really are. Did you stop trying to improve because you're happy with your art, or is it because the last time you tried, you gave up on doing so? Did you stop trying to write your book because it wasn't going anywhere, or is it because you feel crushed by the idea of having to start over from page one? I think these ideas are things that deserve more videos in the future. That is what this channel is for, after all. It's my own form of meditation and self-reflection, where I can experiment with thoughts that I have and share them openly for other people to have a dialogue about. These are all questions that I ask myself whenever I'm writing or drawing. I find that when I have the answer to these questions that I pose, it often helps me recognize that I'm simply making excuses to not be creative. Perhaps this video will help someone else recognize that as well, or perhaps not. Either way, I am by no means a guru or a teacher or a master. I am only a student who learns openly and shares the lessons I gather along my art journey. But at the end of the day, from beginner to expert, to those who improve constantly, can any of us say that we are not students?